Today, I'm out, I've come to this lovely spot. It is a lovely spot, I hope you agree. Nice, it is nice. But I've come out to explore the possibility of um, maybe sort of early spring or mid spring, coming out and doing a camp with this gear. A bed roll and a haversack. Well, specifically, this is the Helicontex satchel I think it's like a large haversack and doing a camp with just that this gear or gear akin to this like this I think I've got pretty much what I'd need depending on conditions I'd survive anyway but yeah I'm sort of new to sort of doing bed rolls as I've done this one but I'll show you it in a minute it's gonna get set up up there somewhere maybe have a little snack and a brew and chill really like the idea of doing this type of camping and <laughs> when i can eventually get out which i hopefully won't be too long i'm not sure if i'll do this on my next camp i was planning on using some a different setup but maybe the camp after that this sort of setup so i've got i have a sack well helicontex satchel with well i'll show you what i've got in there in a little while there may be things that i haven't got that I might need for an overnight hour, but yeah, I'll show you what I've got in there. And then I've got this, my bedroll. That's a canvas tarp. Outhouse, I probably haven't wrapped it up as well as it can be, but you know, practice makes perfect. I've got a wall blanket in there, and I've got a canvas and wall ground mat, which I'll show you. Oh, excuse me. But it's getting a bit windy, so I'm gonna get set up. So I've got a wool blanket, I've got this, a ground sheet, it's wax and then wool on top. And it's got a bit there, you can stuck some, stick some clothes, brush, whatever in there. There's a pillar case, which is quite nice. Yeah. I like the idea of trying to do a camp like this. I'm not sure about in the well extreme weather. I know I could, if I could have a big old fire just out front, it would be lovely. But... can't always do that in places I go. I've got to have a little fire sometimes after a certain time. I don't feel comfortable doing it sometimes. Depends where I am. But yeah, so that would basically be my sleeping system. Maybe I could add another wall blanket. But in here, then that's me food, me cooking stuff, me possibles and that. I'll show you what I've got in there. Right. So in here, I could bring an axe as well. I've got a backhoe lap laplander. My gloves, I'm gonna leave them on there. More a knife. <laughs> this ain't meant to be a loadout, it's not a loadout. I'm just showing you what, what I'm bringing, what I would sort of bring on this type of camp. And just to see if anyone else has any ideas, well, just to run it through my own mind as well, have I got what, I, what I'd need for the night? I've got a Helicontex Poncho, little BCB Fire Dragon, a Trangia Mini, it's a bit dented and battered at the minute, with the Trangia and them trivets in there. 
one bottle of water but I'm near a water source at the minute so I could gather water and purify it but. candle lantern it's the little Yuko one the one that takes the tea lights yeah got a few tea lights I could do with a clean but I can't wait to get out I really can't for a night but it hasn't been possible little David Fryer's pouch this is uh, this is I think this is my one for basically for yeah making fire and purifying water but I haven't got me water I haven't got me uh, I'll have a meal bank bag and a Sawyer Mini in here normally but I haven't I haven't got they're not in there but it's like water and fire so that's a little fire starting kit I've got some little bit of birch bark a few bits a little bit of fat wood some candles fire starters in there some matches ferro rod a couple of lighters you know the, the normal type of stuff then this one I have my possibles pouch most of it should be called an unlikely's pouch because I hardly ever use anything out of it what have I got in here I've got some hand warmers, I've got some san or sanitizer, and I've got um, Nordic Summer for the bugs, won't be needing that. A little thing of Vaseline which can be used for various things, that's always handy. A bit of Gorilla Tape, chap lip stuff, dry wash, yeah, some of these hand warmer things which are handy to chuck in your sleeping bag or, or under your wall blanket, whatever. Bit of tissue. Oh, and I've got something that's for me. That's for me lantern, me oil lantern, but that ain't with me today. I could probably bring that with me as well. Put it on the side of this bag. What else I got? Got me bush box, windshield, though you could make one, but if you didn't have time at the end of the night, that's always handy to have. I've got a bivy bag which I could use as a bivy bag or if I felt the cold coming through here I could fill that full of I don't know grass leaves whatever I use it as a mattress and then I've got food so means the cook I mean yeah I think I've got well yeah I think I've got everything that I'd need for the night I haven't got a full load of food that I'd bring I've got, just got snacks in here at the minute and that reminds me, time for a brew. Enjoy me brew and the view and the little fire. I didn't think that out well really, I should have cut that base bit off there so that the, the windshield sits nice but 
Oh, there is plenty of wood around here where I could just prop it up and make one easy, but, but yeah. Cheers. Really burnt my mouth off. Tasty though. Need to let it cool. I don't know if uh, anyone watching this has done. It's not the best, but has done a uh, sort of tarp and bed roll. Well, a bed roll and have a sack camp. But if you have. Let us know how it went. I suppose once you're wild camping and stuff and you've been a few times, you sort of know what you need to make you comfortable. But I do like the idea of doing that at times, not all the time, but at times. And hopefully I'll get out and do one of those type of camps very soon. It's been nice to get out and have a little test of that situation with a bedroll and a haversack. But like carrying it, what I had, I don't know how much weight I had, but carrying it felt comfortable to me. Bye bye to that lovely spot. Couldn't really camp there overnight. Quite a lot of dog walkers. Well, he was gonna be coming up here at night, but quite a lot of dog walkers just going there's a little path there by the river. Some of them would look at me funny. I had the fire, I had the bush box fire, but you sort of safe. But still, you know, some people don't know. They just think you're just one of these people who goes around setting fire to the woods and whatever. Or some sort of hobo. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, hopefully I'll be able to bring you something a little bit more in depth and better soon. <laughs> An overnight or something. I will. Anyway. I hope you're all well, and I'll catch you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.